Okay, so this is the theory of an attraction motor. Basically, the magnetic field here on the inside is attracted to all the studs on the stator here, real tight. Like so, when you go to turn the wheel, there's lots of cogging going on. So basically the theory is to charge the coils so that one, the magnet is attracted to the steel stator here, that it cancels out the attraction to the magnet and the inside core of the coil. Which will allow it to, to free spin to the halfway mark again between the two. And you de energize the coil and allow the natural attraction of the magnets to play on the center of the coil, the core there. So it would suck it into place. So you're only applying enough field to cancel the attraction of the steel. And if you do that correctly, you'll get more than just the, the stopping. It'll, it'll continue to rotate from the natural attraction of the magnet to the steel core. So we're going we're gonna to test what the foot-pound would be here on, on the shaft and just the attraction mode to the steel cores. Like, how much torque would the motor naturally have without putting too much electricity in it to boost it like a regular pulse motor. We're only adding enough to cancel the field out here so that it would free spin, almost. So we're gonna hook this up, sprocket here. Try to keep this spring gauge in the film here and we're basically just going to pull it back to see how much force it would take to break it free from the shaft there there's six pounds seven pounds eight pounds and it still don't want to turn that wheel so the motor is going to have at least eight pounds of torque here on the sprocket just from the natural attraction to the cores of the coils. 